hello guys uh welcome i'll show you how to solve hacker rank counting values challenge uh, it's simple uh you're gonna have to use if statements and some increments as uh, the question says uh, i know by now you already come across the question so you know so i just uh read up the question quickly and we go to straight to the coding an avid hiker keeps meticulous records of their hikes during the last hike that took exactly steps steps for every step it was noted if it was an uphill it was represented by u or a downhill it was represented by d hikes always start and end at sea level and each step up or down represent a one unit change in attitude we define the following terms a mountain is a sequence of consecutive steps above the sea level starting with a step up from sea level and ending with a step down to sea level and a valley uh, which is what we are concentrating on counting so we're going to focus on counting valleys a valley is a sequence of consecutive steps below sea level starting with a step down from sea level and ending with a, a step up to sea level uh, given the sequence of up and down steps during a hike, find and print the number of values worked through. So, example here, uh, we have provided uh, eight steps, and this was the path recorded. Uh, remember, just D represent downhill, uh, step to downhill, and U represent uphill. So, it was two steps of down the sea level and took like four steps up the sea level and went down again so uh, in this question uh, i'll show you how to solve it uh, it's simple so example sample input here and it came up one valley from this statement and there's an explanation diagram so it's very simple it's like you can see from this means from sea level uh, this underscore here it means uh, sea levels so it went up as you can see the first u it went up steps then it went two step three step down so you can see this one two three then it went up one step then it went down one step we can see here and then it went two up a step and it reached it yeah, it reached uh sea level so all this we count just one valley because it just went down it went up but it didn't reach a, s a sea level as as i said uh a valley it means when it's it went down then it went up and it reached a zero that's where you count uh, uh a vary so uh straight coding so i'm gonna be using c sharp i love c sharp so first i'll start by defining attitude just use int attitude it's gonna be i initiate it with zero then I'm gonna use uh, for loops uh, and if statement and increment attitude in. So let's uh, define values. Uh, I'll write value for number of value. Or you can just say uh, let's let's use this value, which we initiated with zero. So here we start a for loop. A very simple for loop we just use and i which is equal to zero start at zero so i is raised than steps provided you can see the parameters so so it's than steps provided and increment i uh, you can see this is simple so as they say in the question that 
evil uod represent one unit change so gonna do this we're gonna put if statement here and if so the string gonna be path so in order to get its character you're gonna use So this I will present a, a character from a, a string provided, whatever string provided. If it is equal to upper here, which is represented by you, a step up, which is represented by you, what you're going to do is you're going to increase the attitude. And another if this is gonna be for decreasing the attitude when path if it's so got to D means you're gonna do what? You're gonna decrease the attitude. So another thing you need to check for and so this is what that will count a value so the value will count we will count a value when the it's one step down and followed up with upper step up so this is going to be simple so you just need to say if if attitude is equal to negative one so if uh, the attitude it's one step down and the step taken is up so it means you have reached uh, a C level from down and you can count it a, a vary so you just do this you say vary uh, plus plus this simple um, this is very much simple so you do like that so after this you can see so this is our code uh and uh, no, i forgot one thing so after this you need to return return vary because because we are supposed to count the number of vary so um well let me check this code by uh, click learning and see what do we get okay wow so you can see sample test one and sample test two it both the same so this is simple uh, this is how you can solve by using c sharp i know there are probably many ways you can solve this so this is the simplest simplest way uh, on my side uh, that i thought how you can solve this challenge so guys thank you um welcome